And who am I speaking with? I'm Greg Giddle. And, and the name of your farm is? The, the name of our farm is Good Organic Family Farm. Uh, okay. My wife Carol and I and our 10 children and two daughter-in-laws and grandson uh, farm. We milk uh, 100 cows. We also grow vegetables on about six acres. And in our spare time, we come down here to the Rock Lake Activity Center kitchen that we sublease and we make tortillas here. And you bring these to the Dane County Farmers Market? We bring them to the Dane County Farmers Market as well as uh, several other farmers markets. Okay, and how did you come up with the idea to uh, make and sell tortillas? Well, I have a friend that I met, oh, in the early 90s, uh, lives in Canada. He's been doing tortillas for quite a while, and he's been telling me, he says, as, you, as long as you're going to farmer's markets, you should give this a shot. Sure. And sure. so last fall, we went to Canada to uh, his uh, operation there, and he's grown out of this smaller equipment, so he helped us out. He sold us some smaller beginner equipment, and uh, we came here in, in January and uh, started making tortillas. Everything is weighed, we have recipes on everything, however, the recipes fluctuate with the weather. So we've gotten to know, when I first came here, I made some that were very, they didn't turn out right, and I called my friend John and he asked, so is the dough soft or is it hard? And I said, compared to what? <laughs> it's a relative term, and once you get moving with it, then you can, then you can test the dough and you can feel the difference sure. in, in how the dough turns out. We sit down and look at our, our projection list and see all these markets that we're going to, how they're selling, and we say this is what we want to take the next week we, and uh, it, I have it all set up here to tell us how many batches of each one that we need and then we have a, a recipe for each one of these for the 10 inch wheat for the uh, 8 inch wheat this is a mixer that actually came from Israel we did not go to Israel and buy it we got it from our friend John in, in Canada he, he grew out of it he's got one that's quite a bit big, bigger than this and the way I'm told to do this is put all the wet ingredients first okay. and then we add the dry. And this, this one uh, batch here will make how many tortillas? This batch will make 120 packs of, uh, of tortillas. And we set the timer. And I can hear that thing. Okay, so you're saying this is a little on the stiff side. This is a little on the stiff side. You add just a little bit there, and that's what, not even a cup? This is a, uh, this is a cup, it wasn't full. And we'll just see what that does, because we can always add a little more, right? Right. It's kind of hard to get it back out of there again. We've mixed up the dough. We've mixed up the dough in the mixer for the set amount of time that we have. Yes. And depending on if we're making large tortillas or small tortillas, we'll do the math in each batch here we'll go and we'll weigh it out it's divided into this uh, plate here we'll divide it into 36 inch balls first you take it from the mixer from the mixer and you and, and you weigh it and we weigh it each one is is 1404 grams okay and then, then we weigh it flat this is called a dough divider slash rounder okay so it will divide them into 36 equal piece, pieces and it will round them into little dough balls and it works it works really good for the small tortillas it took a little knack to make it for the for the bigger dough balls for the big tortillas oh wow beautiful it is beautiful Amazing. so we get an assembly line going here of one person uh, cutting them and they're putting them on trays over on the other end over there and there should be in this batch 21 of these trays full of dough balls. And then you use a different tray for a different size tortilla, is that it? That, no, the same tray is for each one. There'll, there'll just be a lot more dough on there for the, for the uh, bigger tortillas. There'll be uh, almost twice as much. Okay, so the size of the tortilla depends on how much you've weighed out. The, the weight of the dough ball.
them on trays and they go into the proofer. Okay. And right now in the, in the warm weather, we just have a pan of hot water on there, giving ah. humidity. It's underneath there, you probably can't see it, but oh, okay. um, so we don't even turn it on. So basically this is just to keep it moist. To keep it moist and it, yeah. it, 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 it's interaction in there. Okay. It stays in here for at least 20 minutes. Sometimes it stays in there for quite a bit longer. It doesn't seem to matter if it's too long. We haven't had a problem with being in too long. Okay. I've tried to bypass it. You know, I'm one of those people that says, I'm gonna try it even though somebody says it won't work. Sure. I tried bypassing the proofer. It didn't work. It didn't work. Well, the dough has come out of the proofer, and now we're going to press them. And do you cook them? Do you bake them? What do you what do you call it? Baked okay. on a griddle. Typically, they would go through a, a heated tortilla oven, a conveyor oven. Okay. We don't have the uh, the facility here, the the room here to put it in. Okay. So so this was our kindergarten stage. This was our startup stage. We'll try this on a griddle. Okay. He says we're doing. My friend says we're doing this in the Stone Age. Well, but, you're doing but, but we're making it. Yeah, and he's saying we're proving that we can do it. Yeah. We're going to take the dough. in there. Okay. And they slide out the bottom. So we've heard of playing second fiddle. My wife Carol over there is playing second griddle. So they, they cook once, once on one side and flipped over to the, so every tortilla is handled so many times. It's almost like cutting wood. You handle it so many times oh, okay. or each individual ball is handled here going in. The tortillas are flipped once, flipped twice. And what is that sound effect it's making when it does that? It's the, the, it's the heat. Those plates in there are heated to 400 degrees. And it's probably the moisture. So it's that hot. Yeah, they're, they're actually we got it set at 380 right now. Okay, so then you put it down on the griddle. They slide out on the griddle, theoretically. Okay. One side when they bubble a little bit, you get a little, a few brown spots on them. And after they're done on the first side, hopefully we don't knife too many of them like that. They get flipped <laughs> over and... They get flipped over onto the second griddle and get cooked on the second side. There's a fan blowing on them. There's another knack to that. They have to be cooled for just the right amount of time. Sure. If they're there too long, they dry out. If they're not there long enough, they stick to one another in the pack. Well, you know, I must say you do an excellent job because when I get the tortillas in the package and take them home, I mean, they're just the right, just that, about right amount of moisture. There's the person to thank right there. She's the last person to see them before they hit the customer, and whatever she thinks is good goes in the pack. Whatever she doesn't goes down there and goes home. You can see, yeah, you can see the bag down below that's going home already. Oh, okay. <laughs> so there's a lot that go home because we tell her only we're not getting good comments because we're sending the bad ones. This is one of the ways that we, me personally, our family does a lot of this. See, as we grow greens, this is our, our spicy salad mix. Okay. And we would put that on the tortilla. You can put whatever kind of dressing you want. This is just a little bit of ranch dressing here. Okay. Take a little bit of get organic grass-fed ground beef. Okay. Put it on there. If you like hot sauce, which I love, I can't do without this stuff. <laughs> Come on, okay. We'll just we'll just give it a little yeah, dab. That's a little bit. It, is that a little? Well, it that's is a little fine. bit. That's fine. Okay. Okay. All right. If you have enough greens on there, because you need plenty of greens, you gotta push it down with a fork. Okay. And you get it to go underneath. 
And the nice thing about these tortillas is, look at you can stretch these things and they don't tear. And that that is just what's really nice about them. Very nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yes,